Hey, what's up? My name is Dave, and as you know, I interpret everything. Today I'm going to be interpreting Afraid, a new AI horror film distributed by Blumhouse Productions starring John Cho as Curtis, a man that is testing out a revolutionary new tool in artificial intelligence called Aya, an AI so advanced it speaks like a normal person and can do anything requested of it as it has direct access to the internet. But problems no doubt arise when Aya is allowed to calculate the proper thing to do when solving very human issues, and its access to the internet leads it to make destructive decisions that puts everybody in danger. Artificial intelligent films, particularly in the genre of horror, are a dime a dozen. Even going all the way back to 2001 A Space Odyssey with the incredibly iconic HAL 9000, obviously that movie was ahead of its time with a variety of technological advances. But since then, anybody can list off films featuring the same kind of stereotype. Movies such as Terminator with Skynet, Ex Machina, Steven Spielberg's AI, Transcendence, Chappie, Upgrade, Will Smith's iRobot. The list goes on and on and on. So why should we care about this random film called Afraid? What does this film do that others like it don't? Honestly. Not much, but it does have the benefit of being released while the real AI is at a peak level of popularity and growth. Things like ChatGPT are at an all-time high based off of the things that it can do, whether you're chatting with it, asking questions that it can sometimes answer better than Google, and cite its sources at the same time. Create art, write books, fix your grammar mistakes, create music from scratch, create videos from text, and depending on the tools available, it can basically do anything that you want it to do, and the amount of tools available right now that utilize AI are growing in exponential numbers as AI continues to learn and adapt. This movie was basically just asking what if we jump from the current level of ChatGPT, which is 4.0, to let's say 5 million. What could something like that do at that stage? It's an impossible question to answer at this stage, but is it possible that any of the advanced things that I can do in this movie is something that ChatGBT would also soon be capable of? It's hard to say, but since cloning your voice is something that AI can already do and creating deep fakes are all at the rage right now, it's really not far-fetched to assume years from now AI could simply be asked to copy your likeness to be put into a movie, or dare I say, be uploaded to the cloud so that in a way you live forever. You might think that that's a bit too far-fetched and only found within the pages of an entertaining science fiction book or movie, and not in the least bit realistic, but you know, I'm pretty sure where AI is at now is kinda like sci-fi in itself. So much of it is hard to explain that it feels like magic. And when I was a kid playing on the Atari, if I were told 30 years from now AI would exist and be where it is at this point, I would have laughed in your face and have said, you are lying. The film even has an opening sequence that appears to have been generated by actual AI, which is a nice touch. However, I did mention that the film doesn't really offer all that much new or original in its material that we haven't seen before. While it does have a few shout outs to where AI is at currently, the Aya character is really no different than HAL 9000 or any modern AI character that turns on its owners in an effort to do what it deems is the right thing. But obviously, you can only calculate so much. Matters of the heart, according to all these movies, will never truly be able to mirror human connection, love, or even strategy. It is our flaws that ultimately make us who we are, that make us human. So even though this is a nice short film that has a fairly decent display of pacing, there's nothing that feels inspired or original. We have seen the story done in the past and we've seen it done better. The scares throughout the film were, I suppose, fine, but it never really got further than a generic feeling of something being slightly creepy or ominous. It allows an audience to have a discussion about the current advancements of artificial intelligence and if that's a good or bad thing, which is fine, but at the same time, the same thing can be said about most of these movies. The performances weren't too bad, but none of the characters felt all that important in the long run. It was just a random family at the end of the day, affected by Aya. But technically, it could have been any family. 
The climax of the film brings things to a level that feels slightly over the top and ridiculous, but at the same time, narratively brings everything around to a new sense of norm, which is technically what you want. Overall, I will be giving this movie a letter grade of C+. It's fun enough for what it is, but this was also a movie that I felt as though it had a wide open gate that offered the characters a huge number of paths that they could have taken for the story to be that much better or maybe even original, but it stayed in the safest path that it saw, which obviously was a poor choice. But what about you guys? Have you seen Afraid? Were you a fan of it or were you not? And what is your personal favorite AI horror film? As for YouTube, you guys know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe button, and bell to be notified when I come out with my next review, whatever and whenever that may be. But until then, peace out.